2 i tone. Should be. Vi tager en lille tale i fire seconds, så vi kan gøre det online. Så so, vi Okay, så so, hello. Ja, her vi er. Hey guys. Mm-hmm. So we are going to play Factorio. Sounds good to me. Mm-hmm. So, did you play in this game? No, I've never played this game before. No. It's just. Uh, It's actually made by two guys. Really? Mm-hmm. Good, 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 uh, it got good reviews, I think. It's, it's getting quite good. Um Taking a while there. <laughs> Taking a little while. They're good sounds. Mm-hmm. I think I don't need to call. Mm-hmm. If I will if I do something from the right, okay. Leonexus says the only game I like more than Factorio is Space Engineers. <laughs> Check. No. So I just go tell Joellen then, just to make sure. I think she's done it. Let me just I can check here, can't I? So when is it set? Like when is it? What age is it set in? Probably like space engineers. Okay. Why is this thing in my hand? Do you know? This iron axe X or something? There's something down there, in the bottom right. Take some inspiration for medieval engineers mm-hmm. and all that. But uh, it's not just about uh, like surviving, you know, crafting mm-hmm. stuff, but also about building these automated factories with conveyors and stuff. You know that. I see, no, I think I saw the pictures. Yeah, yeah, it looked good. So this is just the start, basically. Looks like. Okay, okay. We got some help. 
Okay, nice. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Drake Mitras. <laughs> yeah, this, this did a help you. <laughs> I'll just go and run in the racial jar and just on that. I don't know what I need. Nice out. 
Pop more stone. So is this the first thing you built then? Is this like a thing that Second mines one. automatically? This is stone furnace. Okay. And this is uh, like mining drill, burner mm -hmm. mining drill. Okay. I'm assuming that will just carry on going now automatically. Or not. Okay. Do you know the devs, like, not personally, but have you spoken to them? No, I met them, actually. Okay, like cool. A year or two ago. Because they only just released an early access, right? Yeah, yeah. but yeah. they were uh, in alpha or beta or something for maybe two years or mm. so. Oh, wow, but even before early access. Yeah, yeah. they sold, like, 100,000 copies or something like that. Oh, wow, that's cool. Is it just you and machines, or can you get like little NPC helpers to run around as well? I don't know. I think there are some enemies, but I'm okay. not sure if you help us. Victory. Alright. Okay, I see. It's getting a bit more complex now. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, the conveyor belt. It's very good that they have this tutorial, you know, and actually I played this game a year ago and they already got the tutorial in there. That's good, yeah. yeah. Like they started the tutorial, you know, that's good. Mm -hmm. This is. I kind of like the um, older style graphics, the, the arts, you know, that, that kind of art style. It's kind of cool. Arctic Wolf says, Marek, do you like RTS games? Uh, yeah. Maybe not all of them, but like Dune, you know, Command and Conquer. Oh, yeah, Command and Conquer, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. kind of thing. Cool.
Apparently our forums are down. <laughs> <laughs> Marek found a gun. Everyone hide. <laughs> okay. Can you have like boats and stuff? I don't So, build machines, bring them mine to you. Okay, I see now. The objectives, build machines. <laughs> Do that one there. Is this a question? Mm -hmm. <laughs> So is it like a tiering system? Do you unlock more and more? Mm -hmm. Okay. I forgot how would they create the iron this iron plate. Okay. Um, Maybe this. Okay. Is there? A is that iron? That's do you have to find iron ore. I'm assuming mm -hmm. iron ore. Is there iron ore there? On the okay. Raven says furnace out of fuel, apparently. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. All these need fuel. So you get iron, iron from stone. Is that right? Uh, it's iron ore. Like this is. Oh, that's iron ore. Okay. This is, uh, coal. Mm -hmm. So I think I can get these three pieces of mm -hmm. this thing. And now what? It's quite simple crafting, isn't it? Mm -hmm. As long as you have the resources and the thing, you just click the one you want and it just builds it instantly.
So the, the last thing that's missing is this uh, stone furnace. And I, I have one, so I don't I don't understand. Can you can you put the stone furnaces in your inventory? This Yeah yeah. Oh what the hell is this? Bugs. Like this? What, what, uh, you can craft what's, you can craft it down there. And, oh no, you really I already have one, this one here. But can you put it in your inventory? This? Yeah, somehow. So. When you first m made... Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, you got it now. Okay, that's nice. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, you had to be close then. Okay. And now you've got 5 out of 10. Okay. Oh, I see. What can I... Like, they just... This okay, it's like this. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's nice. So, I need to build five mining drills, five more mining drills, yeah, and, and four stone furnaces. I think you got it now, you've got the, you know what needs to be done. <laughs> I'm guessing if you put fuel in these, these other ones here, they'll help you produce materials to build more of them. At least it's easy to find ore <laughs> in this game. I think because they've all been transported to the end, there's things sat on them, uh -huh. and I think it just pushes it that way, and they've all kind of stacked up at the end there. Can you pick them up? Like <laughs> do you have any idea what they, I should do? Um, do more of all these things, but I don't know. You lack the arm. Um, apparently, needs a grabber arm between the end of the belt and the refinery. So I think you need to build an arm. Yeah. Like here? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. F to pick 
F to pick them up apparently, so you can pick those bits up I think. The bits um, on the on the conveyor, the things that are all lined up there. Oh no, that's the transport belt. What's the... Why are this, Why are some of them have got blue on them and some of them don't? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Press R on it. Everyone's saying press F to pick okay, up. Yeah, F, F to pick up. Yeah, okay, there we go. Press R on it to change the arm direction. So we've got a building on, have you guys? R is rotate, okay. Okay now, so these we're trying to like give it, so what we need to do is you need to get the arm up in between to put in between the uh, the furnace and the the belt there. You mean like this arm? Yeah, yeah. Put it here? In, yeah. So which one is it? There we go. Oh, burner inserter. Someone said about rotating it. Is the is the one that's what's the one that's already there? Is it broken? Because there's, there's one, one. No, no. There's one in between already. This? Yeah. Maybe that needs to be rotated. People are saying press R to rotate. Mm -hmm. uh, hover. There we go. Nice. Oh, nice. Okay. I can see how this could be really satisfying when you've got like a, a whole production chain that's all automa automated. Okay, we've got stuff. <laughs> Everyone's happy. We did it, guys. It seems quite complicated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Raven says, believe me, it only gets more complicated from here. <laughs> I wonder what the yeah the learning curve is like. Whether it's okay, it gets more complicated, but you kind of all the more basic stuff just becomes like natural to you. So maybe Gam says it's not so complicated. In my opinion, space engineers are more complicated. It's interesting. game volume down a little bit apparently. Mm. Okay, I will try to 
upload some other yeah so, yeah okay see if there's some crazy transport belt madness <laughs> okay This could be quite complex, so you know. So, oh yeah, start level? I don't think we've... So where is our guy? With the building? This probably some different mode. Um, oh, so that's... So you press the start level when you've built it up. Okay. Wow. <laughs> what the heck? So that you get you're getting negative points for doing that apparently. Losing <laughs> Simple. So where is your <laughs> What's going on here? Progress. Mm -hmm. Who knows? Okay, let's go to space. Okay. So I'm launching, right? Mm -hmm. Nine sweeper, the next generation. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay, so if you go um, to Load World, mm -hmm. actually, um, I'll join the server. We're going to try join the server that my friend set up for us. If that doesn't work, then we'll do single player. Okay. I guess join on him. Mar what does Marit think about Planet Nomads? Or is that one of those no comment? <laughs> well, it looks like Space Engineers. That's what I think. Take if you to do that on stream. <laughs> so hopefully all the mods are on this world. Actually, I was hoping that the factor is easier for me. You know, like more shooting, jumping. Maybe if stuff you like that. maybe if you got into it a little bit. Mm -hmm. But the first the first like half an hour is always a bit tough. So what is this? So where should I respond? Let me just have a look. Let me just check this is the right server. This could be the wrong server. <laughs> this looks like my world. Uh, what am I doing here? Oh yeah, I'm checking. No, I think this is the wrong world. Let's just speak to Phoenix. Server? Wrong server, I think. Yeah, it doesn't look like the mods are on there. I didn't check the G screen to be honest, but let me just copy this IP address. I sent this is the right one. Okay. By the way, I never asked you how does it feel to to have your video, you know? On oh, on the, the back screen. On the main screen. I love it. Yeah. There you go, the server's called Mighty Lord Marek. So I think this will probably about be about right. <laughs> yeah, I... Oh, hold on. There we go. Yeah, it's, it's, it's amazing. 
If you think three years back, I would never have thought <laughs> that, yeah. Pistons. <laughs> oh. At least there's no hate for the DX9 thing coming through. Mm -hmm. uh, I will take my notepad, you know. Okay, yeah. Okay, good. I'll just make sure this is all up. No, he's coming back, alright. All right. Hello there. <laughs> okay. It looks like Phoenix went all out on the mods. Oh my. Okay, Marek, so straight away. No, mm -hmm. server host left the game. Let's just check. It looks like Phoenix has added a helmet mod on. We might come across issues, I guess, while we play that are non mod related, mod related you know. Mm -hmm. Okay, so no. Yeah. Okay, he's just, initial, yeah, he's just initializing some stuff, that's cool, okay. And this is the server I normally uh, play on, so it's pretty stable. It has um, it has server extender on, you know, the, the community tools. That is in the roadmap, it, we were looking at kind of implementing some things from I believe. So, what are people saying? Suddenly, there's a conversation about DX9 and DX11. Mm, okay. So want it. So guys, do you have any questions um, while we wait? Maybe we can answer some questions. By the way, have you played the game where uh, like it's uh, being twitched and people can uh, start some events from Twitch, you know, like inside the game? It's some Twitch new plays? Maybe, I, I don't know. But um, like, I go to some game on Steam, you know, and in the feature list they said this thing like uh, it is good uh, good Twitch integration. Okay. Basically, uh, like uh, viewers on some Twitchers, you know, Twitch can start some start some events in the game and like throw some bombs there or something like this. Sounds interesting. I I think it might be Twitch plays. Um, does anyone know what Mark's talking about? I think. It mm -hmm. Okay. Where is the server? Let's just check. So, any questions here? <laughs> Productive questions. Not random, Mark. <laughs> oh my god, he 
he's talking. <laughs> <laughs> Which spawns blocks. I feel like it might be uh, the Twitch Plays thing. And some games are actually including integration, so it works mm -hmm. well with that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now apparently. There we go. So you speak English when you're not on the stream. It's a mix, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Interesting. It's coming up now. Maybe people can tell us what they think about today's announcement of uh, HTC Vive pre-orders. Yeah. I would really like to know what do they think about this. Yeah, or oh, even better, is anyone in the chat actually bought a HTC Vive. Let's see. Okay. Because it's not really cheap, like I just checked no. it and it's like 900 euro mm -hmm. plus no, shipping. Plus shipping. Which they didn't say <laughs> when they announced. It was like 800, 800 only, yeah. And then you see the tax and everything. And. Uh, I mean, I'm personally okay because we got a couple of them already. Here we go. <laughs> Too expensive. Need more money for new PC. See people coming up now. <laughs> yeah. I think it's probably... Actually, it's very good. I think it's worth the money. I think... It will be more worth the money like after a couple of years, but even now it's really good. Good experience. If people haven't played it, I think it's harder to go into like a, yeah. that purchase blind. Yeah, but yeah. I think if you play a good game on it, you'll see like it is the future kind of thing. Come on now, it's probably because the model. Actually, it's more expensive because when people buy a console, you know, it's usually five hundred dollars or, or even less, and yeah. it's twice as much. Plus, you need a computer. So I don't know. We'll see. But it's really fun. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Here, this Twitch plays. Twitch plays. It's more like a chat. It's playing the game, and it's so, not the stream. And by chat, does he mean like the the viewers? Yeah, these this chat, I believe. This the chat. So through the chat, people can influence the game. I I think so. So maybe guys can confirm that. But I believe like you can say like in the chat like yeah, do is. this. Means which integration with spawning something or spawning meteors. Oh, I see. But that'd be quite cool if you were like playing on the the game and then suddenly the the, the Twitch decided to spawn in something for you to. <laughs> and then Korgam is asking asking if I have been in Poland. And yeah, actually, for the first time, I was there this uh, this Christmas, just for a couple of hours, close to you know the mountains. And I like. That's there, good, there was yeah. some some little little city or village, I forgot the name, but like. I I, I cannot remember, and it really looked like from some. Historical movie or something like that with these roofs and stuff. Very interesting. I've never been. No, it's um. I would like to go definitely. It's not very far away, is it? It's like an eight-hour drive, I think. Maybe from less. here, yeah, yeah. From Slovakia is better. I mean, it's mm -hmm. just from here is far. Someone said, uh, "Yes, Twitch plays. Players spam up and down and such. I can confirm that games can receive commands from Twitch chat. So they just type the actions they want to happen in game. That'd be quite yeah, cool, that, wouldn't it? It sounds like 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 it. Mm -hmm. I don't think anyone else. I believe when it's no one else touches it. I think like it just." Leaves it on, and the Twitch completely play it. Like there's no, there's no one behind the computer. So you must have heard about games actually putting this into the their game, like officially, as well as just okay, it's up now. Cool. Fine. All right. Thank you, Phoenix. <laughs> the adult video industry is going to save VR. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> What
Wait, by the way, is this your camera or good AI? It's good AI, it's okay. I found it. So you found it. Mm -hmm. it's, 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 it's nicer quality than the other one. So, here we go. So straight up, Marek, we've got, we've got a HUD mod. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah. So we've still got our normal stuff, but when you get a third person, it disappears and it's dark. So let's see if we can get out of... Who else is on here? Just me. Maybe Phoenix can, if he's watching the stream, maybe Phoenix can make me Space Master so I can... <laughs> Where am I? Oh, there's, there's the sky and there's the planet. So you look at G, what we got here? Here's the mods that we've got here. Oh. So, a couple of the ones. The rail mod, which will definitely show off. We've got some weapons mods. We've got uh, the radar mod that you saw on Friday. Mm -hmm. Got a Stargate mod. We've got an Earthbreaker drill. There's this. This is like a, a, a force shield mod, I believe, but I've never tried it before, so I don't know how that works. This is an airlock mod. Um, some ladder mods. And on the server itself, I believe that. Um, oh my God. No. Okay. Let me just message him. Get him to give me Space Master. Okay, so wall of chaos uh, complains that we are not answering questions. So, what is there? I <laughs> lie. There was some question. Okay, we'll go up a second. Hold up, guys. Sorry for this. Um. Okay, yeah, someone was asking if I uh, started games just to fund fund the AI research. Hey, uh, Shield mate asks. Yeah, mainly because we wanted to fund AI research. So. Well, yes and no. I mean, I wanted to do games anyway, you know, and it just like one one hand cleans the other or something like that. Mm -hmm. You can make the games that you want to make and also make money and, you know, fund the uh, AI research. Okay, that's that's cool. The comments there. So another thing, question status on disappearing ships, please. I don't know what is this. It's some recent bug or something? I don't know. Um, Maybe someone could go into more detail about that. Is it reported on the forums? And another question. Uh, okay. ships and at King's Opera House. To be honest, I don't know, like, I'm always confused about this because sometimes I say yes, sometimes no. <laughs> I don't know. Mm, maybe if Ratka is here, I can ask her. I guess it depends for like what position, you know, what, yeah, what definitely. area. Probably not that much for there programmers, we because we need experienced programmers with uh, juniors. They may they can make kind of like a mess, you know, in our, our mm -hmm. source code. So it's not very safe to let them play with uh, with our code. But there are some other like artists or some like, PR people or something like that, mm -hmm. or like like say assistant or something like that. Then uh, big big cheese is asking uh, <laughs> when you see modes you like, uh, do you ever talk to developers and consider adding it to the base game, or uh, prefer the idea of people choosing their modes? So basically, the thing about modes is that um, we need to be careful here because if we add some mod to our game, uh, we also need to support that mod, you know, and th those features in the mod. And uh, since we are already on the quest of finishing and polishing the game, uh, adding new features, basically new problems, doesn't seem like uh, like a safe way. And uh, but there was this idea that we just discussed today with Joel would be that we just finish the game and uh, maybe uh, include some of the best modes or most used modes in the base version of the game so people don't need to download it and can just start using it but these modes are kind of like not ours so that's one thing that we may consider but we really will need to be careful that we'll not put ourselves in like that we will not shoot ourselves in a like you know that kind of stuff okay to another question from Arctic Maybe Oak. we should swap and then you can sit here and read and I can play and then um, vice versa, maybe. <laughs> then I can show you the mods and then we have to go. Close to the mic. Okay. 
uh, any news on FPS expansion, so it's probably about first-person shooter things. And or at least first-person shooter improvements, I think. Yeah, yeah. So basically we are working on this and uh, the actual thing is working on on a new animation system or better animation system, that's the first step that we need to do. And uh, because right now we, like our animation system has problems supporting when you need to blend different animations, like for example, running and aiming or running and reloading the weapon and things like this. So once we do this, which is not a big deal, then we will continue working on uh, like shooting experience and like when you're holding your hands in front of you with some weapon or tool, you know, these things. And uh, yeah, yeah. And there is one thing that we are already doing, we are like also redoing the particle effects. Because currently what is in the game is not really good and uh, to have a good first person shooter experience you also need very good particle effects. Mm -hmm. Like particle effects, I mean like when you see a bullet hitting a wall and you see this like and or shooting from the weapon, this, this, what's this wall? What, what, this, the ricochet? Uh, uh, ricochet, no, that's, the ricochet is this like... Uh, muzzle, 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 flash, muzzle, muzzle, flash, muzzle flash, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but muzzle flash is okay, it's just like the, this uh, bullet impact effect. Uh, so what is, I just want to see in the picture, <laughs> not swapping streamers. <laughs> Small. Just trying to figure this thing out here. Yeah, and um, uh, Raven Q is talking about uh, explosions and uh, the bass sound. So also we, we, the sound designers are redoing the explosions. And one of the things will be that uh, when you will you will hear a distance uh, explosion in a distance, it will have different sound attributes than explosions close to you. You know, like in distance, it will be much more. So this like. When it kind of spreads, you know the the sound spreads. Uh, echo and dist. Echo and. Um, like so it gets quieter the further away you yeah, are. And it's stuff. just different. You fall off. Yeah, yeah. So it's different. Like the feeling is really different. Like mm -hmm. an explosion near to you and in distance. So, um, Captain Wickenberg is asking about possibility to add these bullet holes from Minor Wars or kind of this. Can you can you say what do you mean by bu bullet holes? Like you mean decals that are on the like when you hit when you shoot a wall or anything, there is this little bullet hole. Yeah, he probably mean decals. Yeah, so we are also adding decals for basically anything in the game. And I also don't like it when there are no decals in game because then when you shoot something, you don't you don't actually feel like you shot it. You know. No. It's weird. So and obviously sound is also... We need to add decals. Yeah, yeah, Captain Wicking Bird. Uh, we, we are adding this as well. Yeah, I don't know if you will add this glowing decals that we had in uh, Minor Wars. I mean, they were quite cool. Maybe, maybe yes. Maglev, yeah, I'm starting to build it, although I can't remember how far it needs to be apart, so hopefully so some of my buddies are joining in here, um, let me just give them a coordinate so they can find me and help me with this train. No, that's not right. <laughs> that was not good. So, uh, Rius AK is asking, uh, he's interested in job offer as a game writer, are you still hiring? Yes. It's still open and it's not anything we need to close or finish or feel like to hire the guy like very very soon it's just a, a long-running thing where we want to have a good game writer on the team And 
uh, Sudrix is asking what is the goal for medieval engineers and people talking about the space engineers because it's in better shape but medieval engineers is in terrible shape and what will you do to improve it? So basically uh, right now Tomáš Rampas, our lead game designer, is just finishing the new updated design document for mm -hmm. medieval and tomorrow we will uh, sit on it and just go through every little detail and uh, the main concept is basically hmm, how to say this make it more easier to build you know not so kind of mm -hmm. annoying and uh, make it more intuitive to, to control the, de the game we're also putting it on planets but that's more for the technological so we don't have one technology for space engineers and the other for medieval engineers and what else is there yeah and medieval will focus much more on survival and actually progressing in the game so you start with like basically no no technology no tools and then you progressively get to better tools better crafting things you know mm -hmm. and one thing after another and uh, this is it and uh, the goal the, the funny thing about medieval engineers is that when we were uh, like inventing it uh, we thought that uh, it will be enough if people would just build castles and be happy with it, you know, just like in Space Engineers many, pe many people build spaceships and then fly or you know, like yeah, some yeah. things and uh, it's not enough, so uh, it will be more about protecting yourself, surviving, you know, and the building will be just some, some part of it. I, I hope not, not a very small part, I still hope it will be the major part of the game, but uh, uh, because I think building uh, castles and these medieval things and then doing something with them, which you really cannot do that much, is not a, as fun as building spaceships and robots and maglevs and <laughs> things exactly, like yeah. that. So, in the meanwhile, can you tell me or show me, like... Well, so, I'm just so, trying to build a train here. And what mods are we seeing, like the maglev? This is all the maglev mod, yeah. And this uh, HUD mod, you know, like the... Mm -hmm. You were seeing that as well. So you can see like you've got your stats down there. But also it's quite cool about it. You can also see that it tells you what you need to build a block. Like you're you know, like here we've got the the maglev in my oh no, we've got this thing in my hand. I need twenty five steel plates and all the rest of it. Um, I believe you can also change what's on the screen. I don't know. But the what the main thing about it, it's not it gets rid of that kind of information overload that you get currently when you've got all that. And that is good sometimes, but for like immersion point of view, this feels very cool. Even with like the, the kind of helmet bob as well. So when you're playing, and it's done in third, okay. It's no, it, it, yeah. So in third person, if you want to build like this and you don't want it there, it's fine. But if you want to like be more immersed in it, so I'm just going to finish building this car, and uh, hopefully my friends here, Mega D and Phoenix, will yeah help out me build this. Hello there, will help me build this railroad. Actually, I know what they're doing. Meg, see, Mega D, we, we were playing the other, day, uh, the other day, even yesterday, and he actually built this uh, ship, this kind of like rail launched thing, and he's actually going for it now. So we'll see this in action before you'll see my train. Oh man, the, the time of day. Uh, <laughs> it's going to get dark. Okay, it's okay, we'll push through. So I'll come back to that in a minute. So that was me building a car, but we'll see what he's up to here. Meanwhile, I will do some upslopes to this ramp so we don't. And uh, what is the arrow in the middle? It's uh, gravity? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's gravity. Mm -hmm. hmm. Okay. So here he is. He's, is he levitating? And notice how these sections light up when there is something hovering over them. Mm -hmm. He's actually used the versions that don't have suspension. So I'll just explain to everyone who's watching the stream who hasn't seen this yet, to, when you place this block down, it's a bit like a wheel block. So you place it down and this is suspension and you see that's floating. But the bit that does the, the main work is the bit that you place in the bottom. This is the thing that does the real amount of work. But what Mega D's done over there, he's placed this block, which is like solid. It doesn't have any suspension. So, which is fine, as long as it doesn't go around corners because there are corners and stuff. Meanwhile, I'm just seeing if I can uh, 
I think it's good actually because. Come on, a rotor wants vanilla SpongeBob. <laughs> Let's see here. Let's see if I can. Damn, this is a pain. Okay, I'm gonna have to delete this a second and replace it with a shorter one. I think well, there's plenty of time to look at these mods because um, it's a fair number to look at. But this is possibly the coolest. It's very nice indeed. All right, there we go. So this is the upslope. <laughs> So we're actually here, Marek. We're about to. He's building this ship that we're going to launch off the end of this thing. To the space. Well, into space, but off into the valley, which you can't see now because of the time of day, which is really annoying. But not sure what I have to do. Uh, oh, hold up. He's used the wrong ones. That's why. Wait, 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 wait. Um, go, up, Mega D, go up a minute. So, uh, for Joe, I think so. Is asking uh, if we can do a stream where we only answer questions. So basically, that's what we can do. We can be do uh, can do right now, right? Mm -hmm. Oh. So if you have more questions, uh -oh. just you can be asking, and uh, I can an be answering while my my slave is building the the train. The train, yeah, that's that works well. <laughs> <laughs> You need a little hand here. So that you put that down. So these black things needs to be above the rails. Or how does it work? Yeah, so these black things need to be above the rails, exactly. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to figure out why obviously not that, so maybe it's just these, and then I do the seven. Hmm. There we go. Okay. There we okay, okay. Oh, I haven't placed one on the other one. Okay, hold up. Wait a minute. Go up Mega D. So I can finish off the things. So I've only got one, so there we go. That's now repelling, but it's a bit unstable because he needs to take off. There we go, so I can finish off. That's good, okay. So now there's that one. Let me go to the back. Uh, here, I think. I think that's good, though, to answer questions because people that's probably what people want to hear from you. Mm -hmm. Hello, I didn't spawn. Oh. <laughs> so, blue sky. Blackbird says that uh, the hierarchy in King Software is Marek is the boss, others are the slaves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, why isn't this working? Okay. So, Forjo, Forjo is asking some questions, but hmm, I will check this one. Maybe if you can, Forjo, uh, to repeat the question. Uh, before I Okay, uh, he's asking about are the changes to spot slides 120 meters intentional? Can lights be changed to be projected instead of light spheres? So, spotlights, um, are we talking about the point light thing or interior light or the spotlight like the, you know, like the. Uh, well, we increase the, we sneakily increase the range of spotlights so they're much far uh, further now. Yeah, but I'm not sure, like, but spotlight, you mean the thing on the space? No, uh, well, or the maybe, reflectors. Maybe, but yeah, I'm the thinking reflectors. of the one on the ship. I don't know about the person. I don't think the person has been increased. The person one's pretty good, I think, for like, you know, if you, if you look at... So, out. by spotlight, we mean the the one that are on the... Like, the big one, like... A, a large yeah, ship the big spotlight. one, the large ship spotlight, or even the small so ship. So, they are 120 meters. I don't know what was the original value. Let me change the projectants of large spheres. And what does it mean, like projected instead of large spheres because they shouldn't be spheres like the light should be you know no, yeah, at the moment they are they are spheres they're point lights it is I, I don't know if it's a bug or if it's a feature honestly I don't know um, yeah I know no, this is weird yeah it is it is it is can, can you try like build some spotlight and we'll see okay hold on. I'll just paste in a ship here that has a little, just even the small the thunder hulk should have on. So this is just a small ship. Don't crash now. So now for some moment. Oh. <laughs> Wait a minute. Cause it, the other day it was even the, this ship had it, but that's interesting. Because this is like almost no effect. But the other day it was absolutely mad. Oh there we go. Maybe more so with that. 
Maybe it was hot fixed. I don't know. Let's have a look over here. Well, definitely there shouldn't be. Uh, but they, like they, a they were light, you know, in mm. all directions. It was, uh, and maybe still is to an extent. It is more in front, but okay. I think Mega D is going to go for the takeoff here. So we're coming in. I'm going to come sit on the side here. All right, but here we go, Marek. <laughs> That's the first successful landing we've had, actually. So let's uh, head back to the thing and continue. Oh, quite a far away. I'll try and show you a train. Yeah, it would appear people are. I, I, the light is behind the spotlight. Yeah, that's the issue that I've been seeing as well. It doesn't make sense. It's no longer a cone. I don't know whether that's to like fix potential performance issues. Like, I don't know. I have no idea why it was done, but I don't think so. there must be a reason why. I think it was always a spotlight. I don't know. I will make it. Sorry. That's okay. I will make a note. Hopefully the daytime will come soon. Man. Okay. Meanwhile, the train continues. Oh. But this looks okay to me. What do you think? There is even shadow. I don't know. And this so this this the, one this the, one seems okay. You're yeah, right. Yeah. And they say uh, there is a light behind the spotlight. So if you can look on the spotlight from like from there, from from another view. Yeah. See, it does look. Oh, hello. It does look quite dark, even though it's pointing down. Like yeah. my my helmet spotlight should be is brighter. Stronger. Yeah, which is, which is silly. If you think about it. I think it changed because it definitely was super bright and it was a bit weird. But what are people saying about it? The light doesn't seem bright enough for a spotlight. Well, yeah, I agree. I'll continue, but let's see if I can speed up this. Finally, day's coming. That's good. Oh, shoot. That wasn't good. It's okay, I can finish this. So now, I think all I need is to put on some thrusters and we are like good to fly, so it's... Oh, these are cool. I just didn't realise these are not our thrusters. <laughs> wow. Pretty funky. Mm -hmm. Didn't even know we had that mod. And then now, reactor. Okay. So now, I should be able to copy this Hello. over the top of this. So uh, Rius AK is asking about the game writer oh. thing. He says he doesn't have quite. experience in game industry and uh, has some ideas for storylines and if a chance of working as a game writer. I think yes, it's about ability to write nice, oh, come on. interesting, funny, especially funny, uh, you know, scripts, characters, or even the characters and how they should behave in some virtual, like imaginative world. Worlds we will create, <laughs> and uh, so the point is that we want to find the right guy for this kind of thing. And the experience or inexperience is not the relevant thing. Like it must be a right fit for us. That's that's the most important thing. Hold up, here we go. Let's let it stabilize a minute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this should. I, and you note how you. Oh, 
No, you don't need gyroscopes for this. You just need, so let's go. I think there's probably some, like it's shaking is probably because of the dedicated. I was playing mm -hmm. on a game server yesterday and it was very stable, but you see, because obviously people have been asking about rails for a long time. Mm -hmm. And I think one of the reasons we, you know, we said no is because we don't want to have like another problem block. Mm -hmm. But this avoids some of the problems in the fact that there is no contact. Mm -hmm. it's, all, it's all like, so here we go. There's a gap in the rails here, hold up. And note, these rails can go vertical <laughs> and also sideways as well, and upside down. So this is a very simple train here. And if I just, um, <clears throat> now we build it up a bit, I'll do like a corner. Okay. So we'll, co we'll come round to the <sighs> right. Building a corner is going to be fun. Let's try this. Six. No. Is that a client crash or a server crash? No, it was just a server crash, a uh, client crash, so I'm just me. Okay. What's this, what they've linked you? Yeah, they sent me the, this link and it's automated minor AI drone. Wow. But why do we see through the eyes? Maybe it's like the, the this here, and the eyes is yeah, back there. Okay. So that that block crashed the game. Okay, that's interesting. Let's hope no one's. Okay, so small curve. So that's the inner. So that's the inner one. Okay. Let's not do let's do a straight one first. Okay. I'm sorted. Yeah, so uh, Lazar Lee sent the video with the automated AI drone. Awesome. And it was awesome, very nice. So it was it was the wrong video. So he'll probably see <laughs> a different video. I, I think I know what the video will be about. I have a suspicion. Okay. <laughs> so okay. So the the maglev can also take turns. Uh, yeah. Turns. Yeah. Yeah. And I say you can you can do turns, but also you can shift it so you can go from being on the flat to on the vertical. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So. So I've just done the inner uh, inner turn. Now I'm doing the outer turn. So that's not the right block. This one here. Okay. Okay. One more, and we'll see it. Oh, that's not right. No. Yeah, yeah, I have seen this video. Actually, modded space engineers look so good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with all these mods. So well, that's why everyone's been asking for us to put them, you know, at least include a little couple more. But I, it obviously isn't as simple as that, because if it was that simple, we probably would have done already. So, I don't know, I'm missing. Middle, this one here. There we go.
So the question here is that why are jetpacks turn on when uh, why is jetpack turn on when you automatically when you get out of the cockpit? Hmm. Maybe there is no gravity, but actually there is some gravity. And I think the the decision we made like at the beginning was that when you get out of gravity, jetpacks mm -hmm. turn off, they turn on automatically. So you will not fall off some platform or something like this, you know. Oh yeah, that was the reason, you're right, because was it was always a starting platform yeah. and people would always fall off yeah. and it was, it's an amazing start. We're afraid that this will be happening all the time. So, uh, but now it, it feels kind of annoying a little bit, right? Like the game is doing something for you. I mean, you know, the only thing I would say is it, it would be an option in the settings or an option somewhere that people could either have, you know, but, like a jetpack setting. But here he has actually uh, gravity, so I don't know. And then the... Oh, no. Uh, full speed limit. Ah, like uh, isn't it possible to mod the speed limit? It is. I, yeah. This this server might have a speed mod. Let's have a look quickly. Is it, is it over 100? Oh no, I'm going to flatter it. Yeah, this is. Oh no. So, Commander Rotel feels alone. Yeah, it is. Everyone. So, I think. Everyone. I'm assuming that. What are we. Everyone? Sorry, I forgot what we said. Did we say, oh, everyone likes this, or everyone wants this? Oh, I think, was that about the fact that I said everyone wants mods implemented into the game? Maybe that? I don't know. Hey, look, Marek, and this Mega D is building us an upside down, almost like a, you know, like a um, cable car. Mm -hmm. So, okay. he'll build that cable car. I'll just finish this track. I'll just do this track, and then we'll look at some of them. I'll just check the time, make sure. Okay, we're all right. It's only 20 past 8, so... We'll go up, I think. So, um, they are saying we need speed limit modes to make orbits. So, if there is a speed limit mod, mm -hmm. you know, setting off speed limit yeah. or setting it up, what is the problem in uh, using it? You know, and just well, is there a problem? Physics yeah. starts to have yeah, no, but yeah. that's it. You know, that is it. Yeah. yeah. Well, this you know, I, I think that's why it's unofficial. You know, that's why it's unofficial, because everyone who plays a game, I believe, <laughs> I don't want to say that, but and even the guys in the studio, everyone wants faster speeds because it, it is tedious getting anywhere, and you, you know the jump drives are the kind of only viable. Um, option. I mean, the only thing that I thought about is if we did something like Star, like Star Citizen does where they have like um, this, it's not jump drive, it's like a quantum drive. It's super quick. Um, do you remember that thing I showed you? Oh, there you go. It's a mod, that's the problem. Um, okay. By the way, is there anyone who actually tried the GitHub source code that we just released? I don't know, yeah, we'll yeah. see. That would be interesting to discuss. I think there are some modders who have been trying it out. So hopefully we're going to have some pretty cool rail things to show off here. Wow, yeah, look at him go. And once you get used to the order that you do the curve in, it's very quick. Drago gave me a reason why you couldn't just have a sing one block for the entire curve, because you notice how the curve is split into parts. I mean, it allows you to have not as sharp curves, for sure, but... Uh, okay, that's done. In is done. What are they asking about there? Uh, Joel, I will be right back. Do you okay. want something for a drink or something like yeah. that? But I like a drink. Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, anything actually. I don't, I don't mind anything. Thank you. Alright, guys, let me just see what you're up to. Oh, night again. Okay. Let me guess. This isn't going to be. Oh, wait. 
Does this fit? Yes. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, has anyone enjoying the stream so far? Yeah, Raven, we, we won't be doing any ME tonight, probably, unfortunately, my friend. So, no trebuchet tonight. Because we'll, be, we'll, we'll spend probably the whole stream looking at mods. Seeing what's out there, you know. Is that the right one? I feel not, but we'll see. Oh, this one here. Five. No? Mm, okay. Okay. Let's have a look. There we go. One five. Then two. No, nope, then three. Okay, so we've got two c c curves in here. Some. Yeah, so do people prefer, I don't know, watching me play and Marek answering questions? Is that, do you think that's a better format? We should Okay. 27 blocks long. Damn, son. Okay. <laughs> ah, Mega D, what's he up to? I'm sure that will be fine, Mega. I can just about see over there. Right, let's have a look at this. <sighs> but yeah, I definitely recommend you check this mod out, guys. I was playing it last night on my stream, and Drago only just released it. And yeah, we were playing it yesterday before it was released. But everyone can now go to Drago's workshop and play this themselves. And you know, this is this could be perfect for space elevators, and. Yeah, quite a lot of things. And it definitely is it's more stable in terms of clang safe on uh, game servers, I think. It would appear, because there is some shaking. There is some clang is awakening in some areas. You know what I mean? Okay. Let's have a gander. And you don't actually need to pause on this. You can just build on the end, so... Oh, this is going to be mad. Let's go to the other end and see what's on the other end. What else have you got on here? So, we've got Max, Max Pex's a pack of weapons here to look at. The Stargate... I've played the Stargate, but I've never set up the Stargate, so it might be a little... See if we've got time for that one. Oh, the guided missiles here. Okay, that's cool. And the radar. It'd be great if Drago could come on in and uh, set, because he knows obviously his stuff better than anyone. Let's go higher, I think, and we'll go and. Okay. Need some armor blocks here. Clang safe, seal of approval, yeah. Oh hey, <laughs> Max Pex is here. Ah, hello Max Pex. Yeah, we've got your turrets to look at later. Okay. Oh, and the airlock, yeah. I've got the airlock here, too. It was hard enough trying to choose mods because, you know, there are all, there's so many out there. But hopefully, if you guys like the stream and like seeing, you know, us look at mods and Marek answering questions, then we can do this more often. You know.
Well, Raven, if, if anyone's like friends of me, you can join this. This uh, this this is uh, you can join this server. Just speak to Raven. Uh, speak to Phoenix Raven because uh, we probably could do some help on this to get things moving quick. You know. So if you're friends with Raven, uh, Phoenix even, you can join us and help help out. Google. Yeah, thank you very much. And then there is this salt things. I think if you want. Oh. Uh, Oh, salt things, okay. <laughs> Salty. Salted things, nice. I think people are quite enjoying mm -hmm. hearing you answer questions, so. Okay, so some more questions. Let's distract it for a second. Wow. <laughs> no shadow shine, I'm back. <laughs> what are we building? So I'm building a, a a railway, I guess, for a rail car. And Mega D here is building like a cable car style thing. We'll see how that turns out. So I'm gonna come over the top of this. So Batist is asking if you're planning on having keen official space engine server. Yeah, that's the plan. You know. Mm -hmm. We have a couple of official servers that we will maintain and uh, they will be persistent and that's it, yeah. And I think the, the, the main reason why I like this idea is that we can have few servers that we can control, you know, mm -hmm. and can, uh, can uh, like de deliver some quality. So keep them clean, you know, and all these things. Keep them clean, exactly. I guess we, we might be waiting for stability a little bit. Mm -hmm. We're maybe waiting for st stability mm -hmm. on the servers, which is why mm -hmm. we haven't done it like right now. Yeah, and maybe some better admin tools. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure people will like the sound of that. So we can really deliver, you know, and mm -hmm. keep on that promise. <laughs> it's like good appetite. Ah. Thank you. So another question that was here was, uh, uh, are we going to get some more large chip cannons? I don't think that there is a plan for this. What have I just done? Hold up. Um, yeah, that's not going to work. Um, it, we've got some large chip cannons to show in a minute, Marek. And um, what have I done here? Oh, here. Small, medium. Small, left. Okay, this is this is better. Mm. So Erdev is saying that he thanks for updating GitHub, but he's using in-game programming, so doesn't need so much modding. But he knows some people who are very happy about updated source code. That's good. That's good. Okay, when, when the daylight comes, we'll see the madness that's being unfolded. I can see a track all over the place. So, but it will stay on, on, uh, on planet, right? Or will it, like, fly to space? No, well, this will currently just be a train to stay on the ground. Okay. Unless, Mega, unless Phoenix over here. But, I mean, the moment will come up here and you'll fly off the end here. The sun rotation is also really quick on this server, I've noticed. Wow. Who's in The sun doesn't right. have the speed limit. It, it does. Uh, the sun doesn't have oh, the speed limit. Oh, the sun doesn't have the speed Sorry, I thought you said no, the server. Okay. So while it's sunlight, I'll just quickly have a look. Oh. Oh, is Raven... Is Raven Q... Oh, there's Whoa. some... Uh, Okay, that's nice. We got some player skins on here. Got a oh, Blood Raven. This is Sectans, right? This is, this is Sectans, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's very cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Death to the False Emperor. False. And, and you've, got, you've got that gun here as well. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Were you ever into Warhammer and stuff? No, uh, no, but I like the the lore. Okay, yeah. It's very, very nice. 
For the Emperor. Hey Raven, uh, or if you're hey Raven, if you know how to do the Stargate mod, maybe you can set it up for me, because I've never done it before. So if you if you're like proficient with it, maybe you can set it up so we can have a look. Okay. So let's have a look what people have been up to. So we've got this cable car thing, which has been worked on by Magd. It's just a simple circle, that's cool. And this is the... So let's take it for a little test drive here. See the trap we've got. So come up to the corner on the ramp. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh god, this is so satisfying. Look at this go. Around the corner. Higher. It's, this is what I was telling you earlier, like it opens up so much more, another layer of gameplay, mm -hmm. people building like trains and you can imagine like transporting stuff across the planet or having like, you know, launches that launch ships out into space like we had briefly earlier. It's relatively simple, I think, but again, with this, they're not clang proof, if you know what I mean. Do you know the, the clang joke at the moment? Mm. Well, it's what everyone's saying. Whenever a, a piston or a rotor explodes, mm -hmm. it's basically like the uh, the Dark Lord Clang. What is Dark Lord Clang? It, <laughs> it's got hard to explain. Maybe some guys in the chat will explain to Marek what Clang is, and maybe you should give some uh, give some hail clangs in there. <laughs> Not everyone gets it, and I never really know how to explain it. It's just due to the, uh, the fact that ropes and pistons and uh, wheels, I guess, <laughs> are not very stable. Clank is the sound it makes when all things break apart. Clank is a sound. Yeah, but people have kind of done a whole uh, law behind it. I'll show you the, there's, there's a creation and called... Like the song we have in game, right? Yeah, yeah. But there's a whole kind of, people have built a law around it and the guy made this sacrificial offering to Clang like as if Clang's a god. And the story, let me just get it up quickly. Um, I mean, maybe this, is more, maybe this is more for you to read in your free time. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it, it's coming, yeah. It's, it's currently, you know, making the rounds. So Clank, the Dark Destroyer, the opposite of Marek, the great creator. <laughs> Do you want to read, you ready now? I'll show you it. We'll, read, we'll just read this out. Maybe we we'll read it. Okay. This is nice. Clank manifests itself through great explosions, mm -hmm. especially when power is summoned by rotors and pistons and landing gears. So look at Hell this. Clank. Look at look at this, Mark. So this is Clank. Mm -hmm. Lights, pistons, rotors, wheels—the worst oh. possible thing. And if you if <laughs> you set this off, it co it compresses and then explodes. And this yeah. is like then this is a sacral off a sacrificial offering for Mighty Clang. But the guy here has written the whole story. All hail Mighty Lord Clang. In the beginning, Clang created the universe out of a steel plate and it was good. <laughs> he lit the skybox with stars made from uranium ore. He made the planets, the moons and asteroids out of stone. Clang gazed upon his creation and saw it that was good. And it comes here. Clang then created space engineers in his own image. He gave the space engineer creative mode so that he may engineer stations, ships and vehicles. He named the first engineer Marek. Marek built a ship and, it saw, and Clang saw that it was good. Clang blessed Marek with hydrogen thrusters so that he may travel faster. Anyway, this is, it's quite a long page here. It's actually really fun. It's really here. After seven days, the sun very good, good AI. Why, why, why you didn't tell me about this? I'm this sorry. Yeah, great. yeah. Definitely reading in free time. It's um, it's uh, it's very funny. Mar it ends with Marek built a sacrifice, and Clang saw that it was good. <laughs> it, it actually involves, I think, Imperion's mentioned in the story somewhere, and good AI is also mentioned in there. <laughs> Ice Lake of Eden. Oh man, where's? There was something about cross to never be implemented. It shall <laughs> remain a side project <laughs> for eternity. Yeah, it was. It's really. He spent a lot of time doing this, you know. <laughs> but oh yeah, I'll link it to you sometime. It's very good. Yeah. Oh, what the heck? Oh, here we go. Here's a Stargate. <laughs> okay. And uh, it's so big. I, I thought they were smaller. 
well, the, 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 like this one. Yeah. This is for like people and. Uh, uh, this is for sheep. Sh uh, yeah, this yeah. one's for big ass. I was really not aware of this one, this big one. Not for people. This is the thing that you put the yeah I, I only the thing through. We I have the, for people, you know. Mm. So, what about Maglev? Are are we going to see something more or? Yeah, I'm just going to finish the track and then we'll. Uh, I think, and also Phoenix is building out, and hopefully Mega D. Yeah, see, he's completed his, he's completed his cable car track that goes around the circle. I guess he's just building the. Here we go. Look, he's got it here. It'll be interesting to see how stable this is. I think this is the link to to, to the Clang lore. It's in the in the comments now. Is okay. It? Uh, oh, you. I can't click enough. Just try to click. Maybe have a look. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, it's good. And who is the author? Luminous. Very good. <laughs> it's funny because it uses a lot of you know joke stuff. And, and you're yeah. here. You I am. Yeah, yeah. Because I mentioned it in the video. Yeah. I was like, at the end, I said, um, and as always, may Clang have mercy on your soul. Yeah, it was cringy, I think, and. Uh, <laughs> Maybe we should share it on the uh, social media. <laughs> and uh, Luminos, the author says, uh, it's a ship made out of pistons, rotors, wheels and landing Oh, la I couldn't forget its landing gear. is to explode. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's... Um... So now, you know, whenever I stream or whenever people... Clang is now referenced quite a lot. So whenever something explodes, everyone's like, ah, oh, Clang, you know. Maybe we should get that guy to do our um, to be our writer. Actually, I was thinking about this. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be really funny. Because it was well written and yeah, yeah, well written and also uh, like it had something in, in like. You could contact him. <laughs> well, you, what you can do is you can leave a comment on it on your account. And be like, I am here. You know, just for, <laughs> I have a. You know, I have, at the bottom just going down. I have arrived. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going to link, see this here, we're going to link this up with this, and then we will take the time, yeah, okay, still, so any... This should be finished by nine, I think. <laughs> Maybe when we, oh, hold up. Clank is the secret identity of Dart Rotor. <laughs> Maybe we should do that for the story. We should have Clang is, is featuring as like the boss in the. Uh... This is going to be interesting. Okay. Okay, that's nice. <laughs> Look at this. So he used these to raise it, and now he's deleting them. And wouldn't so the, the author of this mod would want to use some particle effects? You know, when there is contact. Between the when they when they kind of yeah, yeah. like like now you know so you yes. can see that there is some something happening in between. Oh, he's taking down trees. <laughs> Look at this. This is this. Oh, he's the corner too fast. <laughs> yeah, it was working so well. I mean, the vertical one, like depending on the weight, is he going to try and get back up? Hello. Oh, he's wrecking my. He's getting there. He's almost back. <laughs> oh, oh, there we go. He's back on. No, he's not. <laughs> the thing is, when it's vertical, it actually... Obviously, the thing is, kind of... Uh, if it's heavy, it will fall off. And this has got quite a lot of stuff on it, and there's some heavy armor there. We actually tested it yesterday, how many... Uh, for every single one of those, how much the things could support and it was something like 70 heavy armor I think let's see here I think he's gonna uh, take off some weight we'll come back and see if he's done that and we'll quickly try and finish off the uh, this one instead but what I really want to see is someone build like a um... this is also good uh, Clang is Marek's father and good <laughs> is Marek's sister <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's 
So the night is coming. Yeah, the night is coming. Let's just quick. I'm gonna see if I'm gonna speed this up. And Feels just... like the, this pitch black movie, right? You know, when there was always, like, when there was night, uh -huh. these uh, these uh, creatures were attacking them. With movie with, with Diesel. Mm -hmm. I I have to admit, I don't think I've seen it. And I think it, it started the uh, like. Uh, What's the name of the other movies where he played and it was like sci-fi and he was some kind of renegade and there were always some dark lords. It was... I don't know, the chat will tell you, yeah, I'm sure. They, they will know. Because they know everything. They do, the chat. That's, this is why for a couple of weeks the chat have kind of wanted you to appreciate them more because they do have a lot of the answers mm -hmm. for your issues. Exactly. Chronicles of Riddick. There we you go, know, Riddick. yeah. It was actually a game. But, yes, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah I really never saw it. Yeah. I never saw the film. Yeah, it was always very interesting. I think there is two movies or three movies, mm -hmm. and uh, it's some like strange future. Okay. Very so, dark. So this appears to having issues when going around corners. Interesting. To be fair, this thing is more stable if it had two, two rail, two rails in comparison because when it goes around a corner, it kind of banks. There's a question there for you from the real Pygon. I think maybe you could. Yeah, it's a, a GUI and a limited modability. Any plans to expand mod API, API to include GUI? Uh, not not any actual plan for this. I mean, we planned this originally. But <laughs> we are trying to polish, you know, like stuff like this at this moment and animations and. You know the visual things. Yeah, but most of the GUI is actually interesting thing. Just to say, I'll just tell Phoenix to help me link this up here. <laughs> it's also good that Clank create aggressive creatures. <laughs> You know, like the <laughs> cyberhounds, but creatures became too powerful. Clank didn't destroy them, but took explosive power. <laughs> <laughs> and Doctor Octo Ganapus. Ganapus is saying that he took inspiration uh, from the movie Pitch Black. Yeah, that's good. Because his, I think we're not. Is this one of his custom planets? I think so. We yeah, we were going to show off his uh, custom planets because he's like the top okay. um, modded planet. He has. How many modded planets do you have, Doctor? I think you've probably got like 30, and some of them are really funky. So we're almost linking up. Phoenix is going to help let me link up to here. To my mind on that one. I think Mega's. Oh, okay. Raven Q got the Stargate up and running. I can't see, so we'll wait, we'll wait for the daytime to look at the Stargate. So, Doctor says uh, 50 plus. Yeah, it's absolutely mad. And Mara, maybe I can ask you a, answer your question, see if um, what you think about this idea. You know how in we did a thing with ships where people could submit ships, and then we added them so people could come across them, like the exploration mode. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we took community suggestions, uh, uh, community creations. Well, I had this idea, and so do other people, where we would add like modded planets into the game as like an exploration mode so they would just be anywhere and you could just come across them in space mm -hmm. and it wouldn't be used because I, I don't think his use modded textures they, they use all the settings and textures in the game so it, it's just like the XMLs and the the height map and stuff are different so I mean yes there's three big planets um, for yeah three big planets but this could be a way that there is no effort for us but adds a lot of playability to people playing. What do you think about that? Like the same yeah, way how we I did. Mean, it sounds like a good idea. Like like many other good ideas. It's just like we need to, you know, polish, fix bugs, mm -hmm. you know. Okay, almost done now. Where is the other bit? 
Okay. So, so another question from Captain Wickenberg. Long time ago, a third grid of blocks. One modder created the micro blocks mod out of it. Why you took this third grid out? I don't know. Long time ago. I mean, third grid of blocks. One. We would not take any mod out. I honestly. Did we did we restrict a modder from doing something? Oh, I think one modder created micro blocks, and they allowed them to make little drones and little like um, sure robot friends, and it was tiny. Um, I don't know, maybe it maybe, was. Maybe we made some changes and the mod stopped working. That's what I think he means. I think we removed the support for that. But it was most likely not on purpose to like prevent that. It was just mm -hmm. whatever something changed. It's probably just some incompatibility. Mm -hmm. Have a look down here. <laughs> Marek grows up more. Okay. While we wait, let's see if there's anything like I could show off the other mods that might be quite good at night. So we'll look at this Earthbreaker drill. Yeah, let's just uh, take this a second. Oh, this is okay. So it's big. It's pretty big on. Put it on this. It'll look ridiculous, but or not. <laughs> oh, hello. Delete that. Right, let's have a look at this drill then. See the see. Oh, hello. It's also got. Notice there's a mod on the screen that shows you horizon. It's like a horizon. You can't really see it cause the drill, but you see the red line and then the. Uh, mm -hmm. That's modded. That's quite cool though. Let's have a look up. Oh. Oh, this won't work, will it? Because I think we've actually disabled voxel and um, okay. mm -hmm. block damage in this. Yes, it won't work. All right. Okay. It's quite okay. Actually, what we'll do is when we look at these weapons, we'll go, we'll go off this server and just go onto Game World mm -hmm. because I, I've got a, a Game World set up, and we all can, we can also look at Doctor Octoganopus's mods, uh, modded planets. This is cool because Mega D and Phoenix and Raven helped us do some cool stuff. But let's have a look at this. Um... So Forjo is asking if we have, if, we have, uh, if we have considered a slider or realism setting where rotors and pistons can be one, five, ten, hundred times stronger, as in resistant to destruction. What do you think about this? Or it's a pist um, this one here. Mm -hmm. Would it be a realism setting or just? I, I don't know. This sounds to me like if there is a problem with uh, rotors and all these things, mm. it's usually because of physics precisions and things like this. And if we could make it, I don't know why he means like more more durable. We would just do it for for all. So, so in all the realism settings, just a slider to make them stronger. Um, well, then there's, there's a thing coming where you'll be able to manually lock um, roads and pistons so they become the same uh, entity. You know how when you go over 100 meters per second currently, uh, pistons now lock, so you can't mm -hmm. retract them or retract them, they just lock, and there's no wiggle there. But um, I know it's being worked on, so you can set that speed at which they lock at. So potentially they can lock at like five meters a second. So if you're going over anything over that, pisses and rodents will lock and won't be able to move. Because that's m m the majority of the problem is when you're moving and you use pisses and rodents. When you're static, then no well, not normally. There's less problems for sure. So this like manual lock thing will definitely help. So, maybe that will... 
you can lock them manually. Hmm. Let's see here. I swear there was something about... <laughs> and he was like, does Mark travel to the Earth-like planet? <laughs> 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 and does Mark did discover the ice lake of Eden? Clang set. <laughs> but he was not Mark. I didn't even... <laughs> I think that's according to the fact that mining's a bit messed up, you know? But you must not mine the ores beneath them. <laughs> uh, he even uh, tried to mine the trees, but the trees were not able to be mined. <laughs> oh, hold up here. We've got a little predicament. Hmm, okay. <laughs> you now it starts, the, the Marek... Um, Yeah, Marek broke Clank's command, commandment. Yeah. <laughs> Your ship shall break often and without warning. <laughs> Your wheel vehicle <laughs> shall be overturned. Your ship shall break often and without warning. <laughs> <laughs> Your solar panels will not work correctly and your batteries will not charge. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> the serpent being good AI, that's... <laughs> You shall remain a side project for eternity. <laughs> oh man. Okay. He's <coughs> <coughs> good. Yeah. Surprise there's not more people viewing it. So I think oh wow, look at this. What's this weapon this guy's got? Is this a What's, what's, what's he got? A spear? I think we're nearly, on, well, I think we're nearly ready to go through the... Uh, look, here we go. <laughs> so this is, uh, this is by Max Pax. Mm -hmm. And he's got a whole pack of these. And you can get them with AI or without AI. So I think what we'll do is this should be finished now, nearly. It's because if you notice how it's one block out. Oh, he's also got he's got I think he's got a dead space yeah dead space skin on. Dead space skin, that's good. It's amazing, isn't it, how all the different games that people have been modded as skins in our game. Oh, it's a star fucking okay. Yeah, people, I know we, it gets asked like probably every stream, but it's, um, people really would like this, especially, um, there's a couple of, uh, you know, female YouTubers who reached out to me and said that they have friends who were YouTuber friends who are, you know, and who would play the game, like if they could play as a female so they could like help them, you know, imagine that they're there. Um, and I was speaking to someone, maybe George, someone about it, and it's. I think there's quite a lot of girls um, like to play games as a girl, like a surprising amount. I mean, I don't know the the total facts there, but um, Commander Rotal just wants to know whether after the major bug fixing is done, a simple head change, because someone's already made one. And you wouldn't have to, you already have to change the head because you think the spacesuit is, well, that spacesuits now are the same for men and women. Don't know what you think about that. <laughs> and Anton, I spoke to Anton briefly and he said it would be quite easy to do, but again, it needs to be, you know, it would be a long task, but it would need, um, you know, to be told to, <laughs> obviously. Uh, 
don't know how you do this. You need like a slight. Like that, I guess. Oh no, it's a shame. Okay, this needs to be changed. So, oh, what was it? Was it one block away? I can't remember. Yeah, as the body is saying, uh, I don't have issue with you know, character customization or anything. It's just a matter of time and resources. Mm -hmm. Oh, what's he doing? And it's more about time because we have many resources, but we can, like, doing everything leads usually to a m messy production. I think this is where, like, people want to help out with, like, modding, like... Yeah, but I think there are female characters, female mods, right? There are. Yeah. But there's some people who are very passionate about it being vanilla, mm -hmm. because it means that it's so more compatible. If there is some nice vanilla mod, you know, and there is no like IP problems with it, you know, yeah. like some yeah, other yeah, game yeah. or something, then we can add it. And if it is safe, like a really well implemented mod, mm -hmm. well, character. Because character skins are pretty safe because it's it's, it's a very it's a very basic change. Um, you know, they have they have. I don't think any impact on. Well, I'm not going to say. I'm not, actually, I'm not going to talk because <laughs> I don't really know. But it, all I know is it's a very simple thing, which is why there's so many skins easily done, and they have no problem on the game. You know, that would be good because there will be there's a decent one out there, but I don't know about the IP idea. But <clears throat> so maybe just say that. So maybe guys, if there's a really decent female character model, or if there's not one. If someone makes a decent one, um, with no IP problems, all the rest of it, then, you know, maybe we'll look into adding it. Okay, this is going to be good now. Yes, we did it. We did it. So, did someone use the start Stargate yet? Not, not yet, they're well? waiting for us. Okay. Perfect, bam. And you, you want to jump there through the, with the Maglo, or what's your plan? I, do, I don't know the plan. Raven will tell us what to do. Look, we're about, this is the final few blocks of this, we've finished this track. What's that Marek skin? It's going to be funny if somebody put your face on, in a, on a character skin. <laughs> okay, this is ready to go. Let's say thanks to Phoenix for that. And let's take this thing for a ride. If you turn off enough of dampeners, it just goes. <laughs> we got some on the back here. Yay! He, he literally only just released this, so I know he, he told me there are some bugs with it that he's. Uh, but he wrote all the code himself. For this, this is this is not using connector code or anything else. Oh, went a bit too fast there. Hello. Oh. Well, let's, uh... Yes, we're back on. 
These thrusters are really nice. I don't know who made these. We did it! Look at this! Hello, something's going on here. I think someone's. So I reckon if we put uh... a <laughs> Mega D still <laughs> struggling with his monorail. <laughs> the Devastator, about it being unreliable, I can tell you I played it on a game server yesterday and it was much more stable than this. What I'll do is, in fact, can I. S no, we can't. Okay. So what we'll do is now, I'll just uh, blueprint this actually. Uh, I'll blueprint this. And I'll blueprint this. Okay. Now let's go take a look at the Stargate then. We're ready for the Stargate. You ready, Raven? Let's have a look. Have you seen this before? This has been, I think this has quite been around for a while now. Do we just go through? I mean, I. I Press this button. Oh, no way. That was cool. <laughs> and uh, where is it leading? We don't know. Nice. Where are we? <gasps> what on a ship? <laughs> Above somewhere. Wow. We're on the other side of the planet, it looks like. Cool. I want to do that again. That was awesome. You press this button. Access to not. Oh, no. <laughs> We're trapped. Can uh maybe Damn. It would be cool if we had teleporters in a game like this. <laughs> but then that'll be stretching the kind of the sci-fi things that we've always gone for in this game. I know we've got jump drives, but that was mainly for a gameplay reason, so you don't have to wait for hours to travel to a planet. We need Raven to come back. <laughs> it's a trap. This Dead Space model is really cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's got another one, he's got a Chaos guy. That's crazy though, isn't it? Mm -hmm. The amount of time people have spent in their free time building stuff for the game. And that's only going to continue. And I think that's one of the most important things we do that is, to, to make, is to make sure the game will be playable for like many years to come because modders will keep it alive. Even you, you know, oh wow, that's cool. Let's go back. Of course, it's access denied. So you just grind it up. We'll go back. <laughs> Why did I? He said something about if you go through the wrong way, you die. And I must have gone through the wrong way. Alright then, so I think we're pretty much done on this, this map. Um, Phoenix, just I guess just save it. Um, well, people have found it now. And we'll go take a look at one of Dr. Otokanopus's modded moons, uh, modded planets, I think. And some of the weapons that are here, but... Do this one more time. Put some funky spotlights on it. And maybe we'll see if those. That's better, but see, look, we've pointed it up, Marek, and see how it's like, even like underneath and all around, it affects. But well, you'd think it would just be like that. That's weird. And this happens only for large cheap uh, spotlights? It would appear so, it would appear so, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Alright. 
But like, it wasn't the small ship one, maybe last week's at the time, but it must have been hot fixed. I, I don't know. <laughs> I really want to see, I can't wait to see what people do with this mod. Like, people build like old, like, railroads. Like, most old fashioned trains, but with like a modern sci sci fi touch. That would be cool. Let's just see if we fly off now. We'll go up to the max speed. We're going to come off here, really. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Cool. So I think... We can restart and turn on damage. There's a couple of things I want to show. Have you seen the atmospheric re-entry mod? That's okay. Great. Okay, yeah. Right, Phoenix. Restart the server then and turn on damage. We'll see how that goes. And meanwhile, while we wait for that to like come up and restart, I'll just sh go on to Marek Mod Funtime to... This is this this is a modded atmosphere as well, so this, everything looks really really cool on this. That's a modded planet and a modded moon. So this is one of Doctor Octoganopus's, and if I just fly out here, it's got a slightly different kind of terrain and from space. Looks like this. And uh, it's using the basic textures. Yeah, it's all using def um, basic textures, which is why I was. This idea that you would, um, like with the ships for exploration, people could upload mods mm -hmm. with the exploration tag, and then we could choose the best ones, and then they could just spawn randomly as people fly out. Mm -hmm. Because if it's done for exploration ships already, it can't <laughs> be that hard to... Mega, DDD, I love this new format, only a CEO has some... <laughs> 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 and this is another one, this is pretty funky as well. Yeah, it looks good, very good. Can, can, can you go to the blue yeah, one yeah. on the right side? Mm -hmm. And the people can play around settings, so people can make it really kind of like, it feels like a different game almost, the way the atmosphere, it's a thicker atmosphere, <laughs> it's kind of dense. Um, it's using alien, it's using, yeah, the alien planet textures, but it's like a, like a dune planet. He's he's also got out here. So the the moon itself, it may look like a normal moon, but it's also got like this. It, it, again, it's not using the same textures as the normal moon. So it's got like a mix of ice and stuff. So mm -hmm. there's a couple of craters, but it's also got like this. Uh, yeah, it's a really thin atmosphere. This one looks good. If I actually quickly go to, let's have a look here. So I'll just check where has he gone. Gana Puss. <laughs> Damn it, or not. <laughs> okay, typical. Okay. Let's not worry about it now. But I was going to show you how he's done ones like purple, purple atmosphere. He's done, yeah, 50 plus ones. Oh, uh, there is a link. There we go. Let's go. Oh, it's on yours, yeah. <laughs> Doctor. Doctor's Planets. If you scroll down, you see all the different ones he's done. Mm -hmm. There's so many. Let's go back to this and check out some of the mods then. First off, let's see if I can paste in this. <laughs> this one is good. <laughs> Oops.
Okay. Yeah, that wasn't a good idea. <laughs> but luckily we turned damage off, so it'll just it'll settle. I was just gonna quickly show people before we just go on here how you how the mod looks like in single player. And it would look similar on a on a hosted when it rests, it'll settle in a second. Or, or not. Okay. You'll notice here how the suspension is less crazy. Obviously, or not. Maglev suspension. And oh that was it, he told me like, this you can't just use the default settings. Damping's about 15. And that and offset should be about zip and height offset should be zero. I remember now. Which is probably why it wasn't doing this should be better now. Yeah, that's better. It's, 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 notice how it's wobbling, well, <laughs> notice how it's wobbling less, yeah. Okay, so that's that, just, just do that, and now what we'll do is, I'll look at a weapons platform, we'll just go over somewhere, let's just, uh, so you're going to show some other weapons? Mods. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to show some mech pexes. But the thing is with this idea that you would have community kind of uh, planets is, you know, we there would be so many places to explore. Like this is this is a completely different vibe to um, the vanilla. Planets because everything looks different. You've got some moons, so it would it would almost be not procedural, but the idea that um, yeah, there'd just be loads of planets. <laughs> so uh, Medisa TV is asking if we can look into adding Space Engineers cover art for Twitch games list. Yeah, I. So I've... you are a Twitch guy. Do you know what is this? Mm -hmm. Like when you go here, yeah, there is this list of games, and we are not there. We are there, but we haven't got a cover. Mm -hmm. I don't know how it get. I don't know how you get it added. To be honest, okay. I think we, we, remind we, me, we, and maybe I can look into it and email someone. Mm -hmm. So thanks for thanks, Medisa. Okay, clear that out. Um, oh, let's just do. There's a couple of other things here that we should look at. So people wanted to see, this is an airlock mod. It's actually pretty damn cool. And also we've got some ladders here. I know you like ladders, I know everyone loves ladders. So. This is a single block airlock mag. And we have the sliding doors. With this, this doesn't allow oxygen to pass through. Mm -hmm. um, hold on. Yes, yeah, so it's a single block. You walk into the chamber, and then you press this. This slides, and then you come out the other side. So cool. Isn't it? Yeah. And let's say if I was to... I it got some bit, so it's not as... But it doesn't allow auction to pass through at all, because at the moment, you've got sliding doors. You know, we've got our doors, um, our corners. But with this setup, you have to make two like this. So you walk into one, you close that, and then this one will oh, no. and this one will also be closed. So then you're in like this two block space, and then you have to open that again. Mm -hmm. Whereas this, you simply walk in, press one button, depressurizes, and then you're in the in the ship. So that's that. So Here's a link about this this cover, so I will leave this. Okay, here thank for you. you. That'd be good. Yeah. I think I showed the I showed this airlock to Anton, and he, he quite liked it. And now I'm going to show off. Maybe he's here. Uh, this guy's slope ladders. So now the, the other week we were looking at uh, Digi's ladders, which are also here. You know the. Um, so these are Digi's ladders, which we checked out. 
Hold up. Although, I say that, maybe they're not working currently. Oh, there we go, mounting ladder, now I'm up. But these ladders, oh, yeah, there we go. So these slope ladders are by uh, Mary, Mary Kissness, I think. And I think you just simply walk up them like this. <laughs> but it allows you to go up a, you know, a high distance in a short mm -hmm. thing, so. And he's got a version here that also has lights on it, so if I go show this one, this one actually has lights inside of it. So I think these things light up, which is pretty cool. Because I know people are very passionate about ladders. I know. Yeah, I know, it's one of those things. <laughs> Let's have a look at what else we got here. Do you want more? Uh, yes, a tiny, yes, please, a tiny bit. That'd be great. Thank you. All right, let's get all these weapons in then. This will be fun. Heavy turret AI. Heavy turret AI. Heavy turret AI. <laughs> cool, alright. Yeah, I want to set up the radar, Drave Mifras, but I don't... I'll be... this isn't the first time I'll be doing it, so... We'll have to see if it's as straightforward as it... as uh, Drago tells me. Mm. Okay. Let's extend this platform out a little bit as well. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> Some of some of them are the same model, but they fire different rounds, I believe. Some smaller ones. I think some of these fire like uh, lasers, and others fire projectiles. But you know, very nice models indeed. So now you want to add some fake target? Yeah, I'm gonna chuck in the target, and they're all gonna go mad. They're really well modeled and textured, actually. And this is why people want some more, <laughs> some more like ship to ship weapons because it just looks epic. I mean, look at this. This is mm -hmm. now. I think that's all the selection, at least of all the models. Um, oh wow! So these are static batteries with that I might try and put on the front of a ship in a bit once we've done this. But then first, for now, I'll line them up here. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> yes, these need to be in the vanilla game. Look at these. Okay, let's, let's make them all belong to us, and let's see what happens. Maybe add some... So I'll add a little tower for me to sit in and have a little look. There's something so cool about that. Seeing that with this land landscape is yeah, very cool. Right, let's uh, paste in. We'll first paste in some little ships. So I've got, got this in my thingy, and now we're going to here. We'll make everything belong to me. This is where the fun starts. Ready? 
So what I'll do is I'll start throwing these fight. Um, I'll go in uh, spectator here and start throwing. Oh, not that quick. Start throwing these tur these little jets across the. So you can kind of imagine this was like a, a big base that's got a lot of turrets. Yeah, and then we'll just start throwing them like that. Actually, no, I need to paste it in. Oh, hello. Paste it in without an extra dampeners on. No, that's not a good idea. I wonder why we do, don't hear the shooting, because it's not that far, right? I don't know, honestly. It could be a bug. They all have different sounds, so if I just... And obviously these big ones are slow to turn. These little ones are like... Can you, can you get away so we can uh, hear how the sound attenuates? Okay. Like, where is the distance, you know, where where it starts? Let's get some targets to fly shit out. So you and can't no, hear it, so no, now get, fly get in. To, get to the weapons. Get close. I had an explosion there. See, I think it's, it's... It's hard to tell where it's the mod, though. That's the problem. Okay, I think it's wrong. Because what ideally you want, you want to be here from the other side of the valley, like a massive, like, you know, the, the thunder of the, of the weapons. Maybe it's back for this, uh, just for the It could be for these weapons, though, that's yeah. what I don't know. Okay. So, you... I'll turn off these ones. These are just very rapid fire. I think these ones here are the... These are the anti-missile ones, this is why they're such high fire rate. I believe they can actually sh like destroy missiles. Mm -hmm. um, these here are anti-fighter. These, the, these ones are firing like blue lasers. I'll take these ones off because they're quite loud and annoying. You know what they look they, But they're quick and high rep power fire. And maybe I'll just get into one of these and see how much damage it can do, you know. Well. That's so good. Yeah, that's so good. We're under attack by aliens. That should keep me busy for a while. And I'll get in the, I'll get inside and start shooting. Do they have unlimited ammo? Or? Yeah, because it's creative. I'll get in the main cannon, Mark 1. Here we go, am I in? Alright. Takes a while to reload this one, I think. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> we have one shot. Ready? Oh wow, I missed. Okay, so uh, there's one thing that works quite well in our, in our game. Well, not one thing. One of the things that does work well is at least the AI of turrets. The AI of turrets is pretty accurate, you know. Maybe the targeting systems are messed up because it would appear they're all firing at the same one. On all these ones, these big ones, they do a lot of damage. Like these would be more for anti anti capital ship ones, which is why. And the ones that I deleted are more for the fighters. Although this is anti-fighter, so I'm assuming... Maybe this one's broken because these are like... I don't know. I'm seeing all the, t the barrels in the air, you know. The sound's muffled you from here, so I think there might be a problem. Even though the projectiles are... Like, the, the projectiles of these ones are massive. Bam, bam. The, part of, the particle effects are pretty awesome too, though. Because they're not using here. Look, look. <laughs> All the people saying about it, too accurate apparently. So, uh, Joel, what yeah. are the other modes we want to see? Okay, um, let's have a look. I'm just going to fire off the battery quickly before we go. There's a big ass battery here. Okay.
Okay, let's pace in the ship here. The red ship. It's amazing though, what we are at sim speed, that we're still at one sim speed and 80 FPS. So there's definitely been improvements going on, I think, in, in areas. I know the guys have been working hard. Mm -hmm. It, it feels smooth and you consider like there's a lot of debris going on here this is now scattered with <laughs> little shit destroyed it's interesting the sounds better here where it was quieter closer you know they'll probably shoot this one won't they <laughs> I wanted to drive this and see they're probably going to target this aren't they well, they can't see it that's fine. I just wanted to try out this battery block, which you haven't seen, see what this does. And then... Okay. <laughs> That's a bit crazy. And this is static weapons, and I've got the feeling this is going to be pretty powerful. Alright. My... Oh, rolling down the hill. Can't get in. Okay. Oh, I see they fire one at a time, so you press seven and they go down the line. I still think the sound's muffled, but let's uh, attack this. Let's attack this base up here. See. This is going to be hard, but. See how much damage these batteries do. Oh, wrong button. Not too much damage actually, but it still looks awesome. <laughs> Alright, okay. So that is... <laughs> Look at all this wreckage. What else have we got here? We've got the radar. Um, do you remember the one you, you saw me on Friday looking at? We've got that, so we can try set that one up. Oh, and also we've got conveyor hinges, because people want us to see those. Let's uh, look at the... So, what is... The, oh, okay. So you've got the you're, radar. You're building the radar? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, building the radar, see what happens. I think for me, this track, music track playing right now, is like... You know, this is Space Engineers. This is what I remember when I first bought it. It was hearing this one. It was the kind of creepy, mm -hmm. unknown. So I think we actually did a fair bit of damage when we attacked there. But I'll build a radar tower up here. Just on this platform so the turrets don't shoot it. Oh, forward my game. Well done. What? Anyone know how you unpause a game? Oh, there we go. So I'll build a little tower here, Merrick, and we'll have a look. One, two, three. Slap this in the middle. No, not that. Slap this here. I really could do a Drago on here now because he knows how to set it up properly. But I'm going to have a go, have a crack. So we'll put the radar on the top. There we go, waking up. Awesome. So now, this is where I have to guess. Hmm. I 
Maybe someone will tell me. What you gotta do is read the. Here. Yeah. Ah. Build the radar block and holographic table on the same grid. Good. Change the private title of the holographic table to the same as the radar. Okay. Public title can also be used. Also can be used. Okay, so we'll call this. MJ Radar Wait, wait Change the title to match the name of the radar block Okay, I see Okay Oh, here we go Alright, yeah, this is awesome And there's a way to change Oh, you can change the So, so what is this radar uh, detecting? This is detecting the, the grey is voxels, so this is the map around us. Okay. And it's hard to tell here because we're in a relatively flat valley. But if you were next to a massive cliff, you would see it one side built up. In, in terms of the, and the, the orange one? The orange one are enemy targets, I believe. And, and the blue is us. Mm -hmm. So that should suggest that there, is, there are some enemies over there, and it's probably the art, and there's ones on the floor. And maybe there's one that's snuck behind us somewhere. Or, or a wreck that's cr yeah there's a wreck and maybe that is detecting and you can change how, how big this display is so you can either have it like a localised area or you can have it for the whole planet I believe but again I'm guessing uh, well I'm not guessing I'm it's guessing cool. how do you can we build this display again? Wow. cool isn't it? Oh, it's um, there's uh, it's Chuck Mans. Here we go. Thank you, Raven. Raven and Chuck. Just watching. Draw, draw method set. set to you. Oh, it's changed. Here we go. See how this is now. This is this is his updated. His whole display should be the chat command to change how it displays. Yeah, yeah. Whole display. I've changed it. See now how these look different, Marek? Mm -hmm. See, it looks different now. Mm -hmm. but the boxes mm -hmm. are different. Mm -hmm. I think this is the latest version of it. But I don't know how you do the change the size to make it like a hemisphere, you know? Uh, hold up, let me just quickly. Uh, radar, uh, radar. Hold up, here we go. Five star, good old Drago. There's some commands down here. So also, Marek, what's so cool about this? You can change the colours. So at the moment, red is set to, or orange is set to enemies, but you can change the colour of each thing to whatever you like. So astronauts may be purple. Um, so it's all customised, customizable by typing stuff in. Here we go. The option is included to lower the volume. So hollow vox. This should, this should change how, so Hollybox with a number up to, okay. So if we do Hollybox two, there you go, look, right. see how the density's increased now? Mm -hmm. So it's okay. almost, it's almost like mapped out the entire really, plane. Uh, Big Big Cheese uh, is asking if at the end of the stream, we can sum up the notes taken during the stream. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I can read them. That's cool. Let's just do the opposite then. Hollow Vox 6. Spread out, okay. Hollow Vox 1. So this is the most dense. Let's see how this. Mm -hmm. There we go, okay. Yeah. Hold up. Go on here. This was apparently the most heavy on, on uh, performance, but here you can see how it's mapped it. You can actually see the shape of the terrain, and you can see much easier. But now if I was to paste the ship so in the air... So Fenix is saying that each meter is one kilometer. Okay, that's interesting. And also he says that the radar is like a sensor, you can increase the range. Oh, okay, on the, 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 the radar itself. Okay, cool, I'll do that. But what I'll do is I'll paste this, this uh, vehicle really high up in the sky and see. It'll take a second to update. 
uh, well, it might be might be off the thing. I don't know. That was, maybe that was a bit high. <laughs> I can't even see it. Okay, we'll place it a little closer. <laughs> oh, hold on. Oh, I can see it now coming in. Yeah, it's pulling down this here. And it updates. I don't know how often it updates. I don't never know. Let's have a look here. Hopefully, we'll see it appear before. There we go. So there's two of them falling down. <laughs> oh, the turrets are going for it. They see it's updated again, even lower. Crash landing. Bounce even, bounce. <laughs> here we go, there's one over here as well. That's the other one I pasted falling there, miles away. <laughs> so, although we could, because it updates quite slowly, it's not like great for fast um, things, combat. but yeah, fast combat. But say if you're on a base mm -hmm. and you're watching this and suddenly like a large carrier was coming towards you, that would be quite slow. So it, it's good for like big things. Um, like big ships or even bases and stuff and you can although this is static you can have it on a ship so as you fly over, over land mm -hmm. it will update like that as well it's looks really cool there's, there's actually multiple ones you might have seen the one that's got like a the spinning mm -hmm. thing as well so let me just turn the hollow box back to like four so it's not as crazy and one last thing with this mod we'll try and increase the the, uh, the sensor of it, so we'll see how if we can get a set of uh, hemisphere. MLMJ down here. Okay, here we go. So let's just. Oh. I don't know if this is going to do it. So, so this is for the radar? This is for the radar, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I've been a complete idiot there. Hold up. I've done something. <laughs> Maybe this is the. It's increased the range for sure. Oh, hold up, it's updating. It's, ah, no, Marek, here it comes. Hemisphere coming up. Mm -hmm. It just take a little while to load because it's, it's, it's trying to like find everything around the planet. So again, this is even a more general idea. So we know here, here's our base on the top of the planet. We've got a, we've got the sort of stuff out there, and that ship we pasted miles away is. Quite a bit, you know. And what do we say? Every block is a kilometer, right? Every cube is a kilometer. Yeah, but now it's probably more, right? Oh yeah, yeah. That's cool, though. So you know, you here, if you had an enemy base on the other side of the of the map, you would, I guess, see that. Mm -hmm. Very cool. So I think we're done with that one. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This one was very cool, mm -hmm. and also the weapons. Yeah, we just need to, we need to steal them and put them to vanilla game, right? Yeah, yeah, we do. Yeah, but the thing is, they're really well, they're really well done. It's good, some good, uh, yeah. some dirt and scratches on there. You know, worn on the ends. The thing is, as long as these aren't like ripped from another game or from like, the Unity asset store or anything like that, if they've been made by hand, mm -hmm. every single one of them, then. There's nothing wrong with like contacting the modder and asking him. Mm -hmm. um, or we can just steal it and tell nobody. Oh, okay, just to steal it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm sure you don't need to steal them. Just ask Mexpex. Is Mexpex still here? Because he he was in the chat earlier. Mexpex. Mexpex. Marek wants your weapons. <laughs> <laughs> So, anything else on this list? Um, oh, Mexpex is here. Yeah, yeah. Mexpex, very nice, very nice. Is that a cry? Is that a crying face? <laughs> so we looked at that. We looked at that. I guess I can show you a cool creation, Mark, which you might appreciate. Let's have a look at the Gisex. Uh, oh no, it's not. It's a world. Okay, so we'll close this. I think maybe just. Uh, Put this, this will do one big ship in the air and see what these turrets do to one like big ship. Do the good old challenger, see what happens now. You know, see, this is where these turrets should be. You know, they should be on this thing. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> 
Is that satisfying? Look at this. This is actually how I imagine space engineers to move. Yeah. Before we start. Look at this. Battery. And there we go, it's falling. The performance is there now, you know. We've been doing these big ship battles, and look, notice how there's minimal. Well, I know it's not multiplayer, but still, with the block defamation, there's minimal lag. Well, there's, there's no lag. We're, we've dropped a little bit of FPS, but there is loads of stuff scattered all across there. Still, maybe one more time. That was actually that was better than I expected. <laughs> Let's get really high. And before it destroys everything, let's see if I can. Um, I just want to see how this looks with if I put one of these big ass guns in the front here. Let's have a look here. There we go. <laughs> I mean, this that's probably a little bit big for this shit. I think what we need to see now, Marek, maybe not tonight's stream, but maybe for the next stream we should. Um, do like a large ship battle in space, but using these big weapons, so mm -hmm. ship on ship. Mm -hmm. That could be quite cool. Whoa. And that, that thing is massive. I think. So I'm just looking on the video where that's sent by Commander Rotel, mm -hmm. and uh, it's about crashing a huge ship on a planet, and he says there is no damage to the ship. Yeah, that is happening. That is that is the known thing. You'll watch this. The bigger the worst. It's to do with just computers and servers going, what the heck, you know? So it'll lag for a second, but then it'll just kind of... Or if it does have damage, it'll be delayed. So the ship will crash, it'll be fine, and then suddenly it'll be like, crumple up. Mm -hmm. What was I going to show you? Oh yeah, the, um, I'm going to show this. I think you, you might have missed this uh, last stream, Marek, but hopefully this will work. Panels. The uh, I think the where the robotic arm is moving. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So let me see if I can start this sequence. If I do this cycle tool and let me get the spectator up. And I think some of the people watching the stream have seen this before, but I'm going to show Marek. So he he missed it on the last stream. I think he was outside. So this is built by Kisek, and it's using a lot of crazy programming here. So if you see Marek, it's. Uh, Basically, actually, I'll take that back. Hold up, I did it wrong. Too quickly, do something. <laughs> I pressed the wrong one. I grabbed the adapter. Let's just see that again. Yeah, Raven, that's Olga. <laughs> uh, they're not talking about you. <laughs> so I think, because you. All right, now. I just ha you, are, you are there in the camera. <laughs> so, these are lo lo loads of tools. You've got like the welder, you've got the grinder, all the drip. And then we'll now cycle through the tools with this robotic arm. So, if I do this. So, you are. You I'm are not controlling it. It's, it's okay. all, it's all it's done programmed. from programming, yeah. In game programming? In game programming. So we're cycling through the um, the tools now. It's actually so interesting. And it's so, in single player, it moves so fluidly, doesn't it? Isn't this funky? And there's the last one here, there's like a little seat that you can sit on the end of. But this is now even, there's more impressive stuff to come, Eric. This thing can actually weld up this thing and also grind it down again. And also, I wish Gusek was here to do this, you can, Put an engineer on the end of this, sat on the seat, and this robot will do like a, a thing. It will it will move around the blocks like this, like a maze. 
once you've welded it up. So now I'm going to try and weld it up, and I no, no idea. So this is full sequence on. <laughs> full sequence on, and uh, oh, I've only was here. Single block start. Mm. Position one. Well, this is quite cool. This is moving positions, so I can position two. Position container. And also what's cool about this Merrick is with this, it will weld up that thing and when it runs out of resources, it will come back, automatically connect to this car container, take the resources, go back, continue welding, come back, drop off the, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's an absolutely mad. Let me just see if I can figure it's out like, how to do this it. This looks like factory in 3D, kind of, right? Yeah, yeah. It just shows how good pistons and ro well, rotors could be um, in multiplayer if they were just a little bit more stable, you know. Okay, I'm just trying to figure out why the sequence... It's been a while since I used this and it's not mine. But yeah, on here you've got the different... Um, oh, here we go. Ah, I've got it. It's over here. Weld maze wall. Let's go. You ready? Ready for the insane. So it's going to pick up... Please work. <laughs> I thought it was going to do it then. What were people saying about it? What is this? It is whispers. Oh. Uh, it's um, like people messaging you, messing the, my account privately. Mm -hmm. So I've just, I've just, uh, yeah, just some people message me. Me. No, me. It's my account. This is not mine. No, that's your account. But I'm, I'm connected to okay. on the chat on my account. That's all. So now let's try from the scratch. Maybe this will work. Here we, here we go. It's going to do it now. So is it going to go to the? Yeah. Okay. So, oh no, it's coming around. This is awesome. Following the shape. But look at it. It's so beautiful. It's just it's it's a. <laughs> Okay, so it's coming back to the connector. It's connecting. It's grabbing some materials. It's coming back. <laughs> this is what people do in that game, Mario, you know? It's awesome. It's absolutely mad. So now it's going to go back and place the tool back. And now I think it said fun ride. So I think I can get onto this if I sit on this seat. No, that's not going to work because I can't activate the thing. Hold up. I'll go back and activate it and quickly sit down. Get in the chair quick, yeah, okay, so now what options we've got? We've got maze fun ride, maze grind down, maze grab and throw. Oh, I want the fun ride, but I'm going to have to get to it quick before it, like, it's getting in the seat. It's picking up the seat one. So if I can, there we go, I'm in. So look. Look at that, Mark. <laughs> Look at his little face. <laughs> See, these rotors have no clang. These rotors are not possessed by clang. They're, they're beautifully, you know, maybe over here as well. Let me just quickly... I don't know what this, throw, this, this toss thing is. Let's try the... Where's the toss? Grab and throw. So maybe it picks up... See what this does. I've never seen this before, so this is new to me. So it's got a landing gear. What? What is it? No block found. There's an error saying no block found. I think it's supposed to pick up something, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and it's supposed to pick up something and then toss it. Maybe you were supposed to put there something. Yeah, maybe. Maybe I was. I don't know actually, let's try, um, what if I interrupt it? Okay, hold on, one more time. And there's also, next door to it, there's another arm using uh, conveyor tubes, so it's fully conveyed up, I believe. But I had to give this guy a shout out, because when I first saw this, it was just, you know, absolutely mad. So if I just, oh, what I'll do is I'll weld this one up, 
We've seen it weld up, so it'll, it'll, that one will go and weld up. And meanwhile, we'll come look at the second one over here, which is a slightly different design. Yeah, this is, again, fully conveyor, so this could actually be functional. Hopefully, the sequence is already. Basic sequence, advanced sequence, rotation sequence, okay. Emergency stop, position one. So this is the same thing, you press this, position one, position three, position three, position four. But we'll start the advanced, we'll start the uh, advanced sequence here. And this one spins, this one spins this around everything. It's awesome. Like some real robot. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of... It looks so weird, doesn't it? In our game. No, I mean, it looks just it like I awesome. imagined. But it's kind of unbelievable that it's there. I know. Well, you can and see all these it. things that people... I don't know how long this it took him created. to do this. Um, and then, what's this here? Rotation example. It's actually funny that this worked, because, I mean, not this one here, but the, the concept that we just invented it, created it, and we're assuming that people will be using it, you know, and they, they are so interesting. The other thing is, with this, um, I was suddenly just told, this other one, you were, I was supposed to grind a bit down, and I think it picks up, like, the scrap on the floor. Mm -hmm. But what I'll do is, this is actually remote controlled as well. I can, if I, let me see if it's here, please be here. Yes, it is. Which one is it? Survival and tool, I think it's this one. So if I control this, and then if I press. Okay, it's not this one. <laughs> I'm, I'm controlling the other one. I'm probably messing that one up. It's uh, showcase, I guess. Remote control, control. Here we go. So, run, I don't know what these mean. Basically, some of these are like up and down, some of these, so I'll come and so you can see it. And now I'm just using my control key here to, to control it. So five, wait, one of them, so eight is that way, nine is up, so I can spam up and go up. I can press, then I can press two to spin around. I mean, I'm being a bit jerky with the controls to be fair. This is showing that you can also manually control it using mm -hmm. you know, the programmable box. It's not as cool as seeing it do its own sequence, but it's in all suit, yeah. So I guess the last thing to see on this thing before is actually just to see the same thing. Come see it grind down. So it comes over here, picks up its grinding tool, comes over. It really does look amazing, the way it moves so gracefully. <laughs> there we go. What's happening? <laughs> what dark magic pre prevents it exploding? <laughs> Clang cannot be beaten here. But notice how it didn't also it missed that one out because if it had deleted these two, it would have collapsed. So it, it missed those ones out first. Oh, I remember now what happens. It basically grinds them down, but something falls on the floor because it, it messes up, which is why this is an order. It's it's weld up, fun ride, grind down, and then throw. So I, it was my bad, I just missed the order out. Oh, okay. People happy with this? Maybe you should try programming something like this, Merrick. <laughs> Can you open the program of the block? Uh-huh, yeah, I, sure. I just want to... Have a little gander. Okay, there's, there's, there's a couple in here. There's one, two, three, but we'll have a look at this one. Should I scroll? Yeah. Have a little scroll down. Oh, hey, lots. Can you scroll down faster? Faster, yeah. Okay. Okay, nice. It's quite a lot of stuff here, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. So this guy clearly spent a lot of time on this. <laughs> but this is where like something like this could be teaching people coding. It know? was the idea with programming blocks. Sure, yeah. yeah. And to do something like this, but I wasn't expecting such complex thing. 
I was expecting people to be just playing with lights, you know, or like yeah. something. Like <laughs> this is so long. Yeah. <laughs> and this is just one of them. There we go. So that's that. Okay, can you go back, please? Sorry, I was. And to the, to the, to the end. Let's just okay. open the code and please go to the end. Raven says, hire this guy to work for Keen. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, go ahead, sorry, yeah, yeah, it's probably... I'll link you this workshop, Marek, and you can look mm -hmm. at it in your free time, and, you know, and I'll probably post it in the, uh, the office uh, chat so people can take a look. Tomas Rampas saw it last stream and he was like, wow, that's amazing. But you were out of the room at the time, so that's why you missed it. <laughs> what sorcery is this? Yeah, this is really cool. Mm -hmm. It's also good that we are supporting such a huge script. Mm -hmm. I know we keep... Uh, yeah, I think this, this is some experienced programmer. Probably. It's good. So it left this stuff behind. Just wondering now, maybe if I... I don't do that again. Oh no. Oh, not again, okay. Oh, that's why it picks up... Oh, oops. I wish you had a way to cancel it. Emerge, maybe emergency stop. Quick, emergency stop. Yeah, emergency stop. <laughs> Uh, toss adapter. Okay, Mega DDD is saying that we, we should increase the size of the scripts because some of them go to limit. Yeah, I think we can look to this because it shouldn't be a problem. He's looking for the disabled clang code. <laughs> <laughs> Can somebody, can somebody link this in the chat, guys, so everyone can check this out? Because this is a... Uh, yeah. I think this one is supposed to be survival ready. Actually, no, they're both... Because this one works with the fact that it's got, like, conveyors all in this. We are running out of time. Oh, okay, yeah, good point, yeah. Is there anything else you want to do? Uh, we can continue next time. Yeah, yeah, for sure, yeah. Um, uh, what other mo mods uh, we plan to... I, I not li not li like, I, I don't see them right now, but just like how many we left behind? I think we covered most of them. Okay, that's good. We covered most of them, I believe. We didn't do the conveyor hinges, which are the, like, instead of rotors, they're like, yeah, the hinges. But they're... Um, something... These robotic arms would really... Let me just quickly... We're waiting for that, hold up. I'll just really quickly show you. Unless someone could link. So link next time we can look on the hinges mm -hmm. and aerodynamics. Yeah, I forgot. And the, the drag re-entry where you basically, mm -hmm. if you come in too hot, your ship just burns up and there's like a visual effect as well. Mm -hmm. um, here we go. Just I can show you what this looks like, Mario. You can build really complex, like, uh, construction things like this. It's like this kind of block. I believe it's just a, it's just a rotor fit in the side, but it's really popular. It's, mm -hmm. it's one of the most popular, well, it's, yeah. People have been asking for us to implement it for a while. <laughs> just because they're more stable than rotors because the way they work, they're actually, yeah. And also, yeah. So now the last thing to do is to press this and it will work this time. But it's still grinding down, hold up. Let it finish. And then we can see the last. Shane, I don't think his sex here, because he normally comes on the streams. You know, the author? The author, yeah, he normally comes on. 
I missed that, so it, it grind the bottom so it fell. It's going okay, so now it's going to use uh, the landing. Mm -hmm. To throw the stuff. Mm -hmm. I, and again, I've never seen this happen, so this is, this is who I wanted to do it. So this is a premiere for you? Yeah, yeah, for this, this part of the thing. Let's see here. Well. <laughs> That's so good! That's a robot. Oh look, it chucks it into a pit. Oh no, it chucks okay. it into a grinding pit, Mario. Okay. Look. That is ridiculous. Yeah. Ready? Last, the last throw. Throw! <laughs> that, I didn't even know that was there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's crazy. That's absolute madness. <laughs> there is something else here that I, I never figured out. There's like this converter called like large arm, and whenever I use it, it seems to break it. But I don't know what this is. But anyway, all these tools things. And there's also a miner here. I don't know if it, it's probably nothing to mine. But that is amazing. That throw. That is. Oh my goodness. Okay, so just a quick sum up. <laughs> yeah, all right. Of, of my notes. Uh, we will look on the progress for uh, mod download. We actually already were working on this. Then look on the spotlight, especially for large ship. Uh, then <laughs> contact some modders. Contact some modders, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, look on this Twitch cover, that's for you. Mm -hmm. And uh, to see what can we do with mods for vanilla game. But I don't want to promise anything here, but uh, it's basically the, the thing that we discussed that maybe we can uh, filter out some mods that are pretty safe, mm -hmm. you know, like... Well, the character, fe the female character, the s character skins are very and, safe. And uh, we, can, we can just, maybe we can include them in the game and, you know, so it's easier for people, more yeah. comfortable to use them. Then look on the paused game, I noticed, you know, that when you paused the game, yeah. you didn't really know how to unpause, right? I don't know. Like yeah, no, but I didn't press that button. I think there must be another button on the keyboard. This, you know, and you don't see there is there is a pause, there is nothing. When you press tab, you do. And so that's a mod or what is No, it? no, no, this is like bringing up the UI. So look, like, this always hard okay, to hunt. I get it. Yeah, it yeah, makes yeah. sense, in fact, because sometimes it might be useful to mm. pause the game and see nothing. I think this, this is a bug. Like, someone didn't realize this thing, you know. Unless you want to grab like a screen, mm, no. then we will look in the large ship crashes, you know, and especially the, the damage they don't make or make. Because I remember times when actually when you were crashing with a ship to an asteroid, it was like almost like a butter, you know, like the ship felt almost like a butter, like is, like. Is butter that what and you knife, wanted? You know. No, no, we didn't want. And when we actually launched the game for the first time, I think. That was the moment where it was just right, you know, like, so it was reflecting the speed and impact and velocity and, I don't know, all these things. It'd be amazing if we could, like, load up the original build, <laughs> you know what I mean, to see how it felt, it like, back in the day. on Steam, you know, or in our code base somewhere. I don't think that should be a problem. Actually, okay. that's a good idea, to have, like, you know, like, older versions. Yeah, yeah, I, I, it makes sense. I, I always that's wanted to idea. load up version 1.00, because there wasn't landing gears, there wasn't rotors, there was... There was basically thrusters, blocks, reactors, you know. Maybe you can go to, uh, to Torrents, you know, and get it there. <laughs> well, maybe, yeah. yeah. I mean, I there, I there are like people it. who have very old versions, but I don't I, I think, think many people have the, I think the it must original. Be possible to get it, especially for us, you know. We can always compile it. So maybe you we'll ask Peter Minaji can. Yeah, next time to look on hinges, aerodynamics, and some other things. Then, yeah, I forgot about this. Yeah, just quickly then, guys, is there any other mods that you want us to, s to see next week? Because just get your requests in now. You've already said some of them, but are there any more that you want to see? Because I need to look at them and see yeah. if I can set them up. And then, still on Max Specs weapon. Still, yes. <laughs> and uh, in game scripts, you know, increase the, the limit for the lines. Look for the older version of Space Engineers, and that's it. Okay. So that's basically that's everything for tonight. That's good. We'll just sit. we'll finish up here with another throw from this this arm and we'll wait. I can't yeah, go. Yeah, over we this. should stream the original build. Actually, that's Bam. a very good idea. T. It will be interesting to see how the game changed. Yeah. Maybe compare the performance. You know. That is, sorry, I'm just in, in, in trance right now, America. This. So satisfying. Yeah. <laughs> 
three, okay, guys, two, so one. Thank you very much for watching and thank you, my slave, for. That's for okay. <laughs> Pleasure, yeah. <laughs> I, somebody says, I think seconded is. Fuck, that's probably right. I think that was too mm -hmm. soon in the first build. All right. Okay, guys. Well, thank you very much. And yeah, it was good fun. Yeah. And always, as always, you know, feedback about the stream on the forums. And if you've got any mods that you want to see, message me on whatever. And uh, I'll see about, yeah, getting them ready for next week. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Bye, guys.